All right, every year in Fort Myers, these two weeks before Grapefruit League games start, we always have competition. We've had basketball and golf and hockey and uh, beanbag toss. This year, trivia has been the craze uh, with a lot of trivia apps that everyone's playing. So we're playing Know Your Teammates on Red Sox from Fort Myers, presented by Jordan's, the furniture store of the Boston Red Sox. Now, we're not going to have you guys be part of the competition, but we got a couple of questions about your coaches. Right? And we will give John first crack because they're your coaches. So. Uh, do you know why Brian Butterfield wears number 55? Whew. From a personal level, I don't, because I've always seen him as, as wearing number 55. Whether that was uh, his high school football number, that's what I'm going to go with. Do you have a guess? I don't. I'm gonna, I, my best guess is that somebody with the Patriots wore it once. We'll give you half a point. Willie McGinnis is right. number 55. <laughs> he wears it in honor of Willie McGinnis. Uh, Tori Lovello's dad produced a hit television series. Do you know what it was? Gosh, I do know and it's up. I can't, it's on the top of my tongue. Give me 30 seconds. Do you know it? I won't ask you because, all right, so he knows it. He's got the point waiting if you don't get it, so. Uh, it's, it's, it was, a, it was some sort of comedy, right? Yes. Yeah. Sort of? Yeah, no, it was. Uh, yeah, I know this too, I should know this. <laughs> This is where the music starts playing on Howdy Jeopardy. Doody, was it? <laughs> no. Was, all right, you want to get it? It was close. It was Hee Haw. Hee Haw. Wow. There you go. Close. Howdy Doody, So right? we got a point to a half a point. Uh, which Division I power recruited Juan Nieves to play basketball? UConn. No. Division I power recruited Juan Nieves I, I, to play I basketball. I shouldn't say no. That's a good point. I'll have to go to the judges after because maybe they did as well. UMass? Nope. University of North Carolina. Wow. Dean Smith. Came calling. All right. Uh, which player, this is my favorite question here. Which player blew out their knee dancing at Studio 54, opening the way for Tori Lovello to make his Major League debut? You got to know this. Lou Whitaker? Yes. Very right. impressive. Sweet Lou. All right. Last question now. You go first. Who? It's a two pointer, so you could win with both questions. Who and why? Well, who gave Chili Davis the nickname Chili and why? You're asking me. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, he wins. We're giving um, him a chance. Charles Davis. Chili. I don't know. You know? You know? I've obviously got some work to do. Je so. Jeffrey Leonard, because he was a hot dog <laughs> coming up? <laughs> no, actually, it was his father. Apparently gave him such a bad haircut, all the neighborhood kids said it looked like it was done with a chili bowl. <laughs> He's been chilly ever since. Right. So there you go. You we know your coach is that much better. <laughs> We've clearly had too much time this offseason. <laughs> Guys, thanks. Good luck with the camp here as we get ready for the upcoming season. Ben Cherrington, John Farrell with us. They know their coaches. Hopefully you will too. We'll be back right after this. <laughs>